what does Genomics England do with your data? To be clear, absolutely nothing unless you say so. But if you say yes, here's what happens. DNA is extracted from your samples at the hospital, carefully packaged and labelled with a code. It's sent to the sequencing centre in Cambridge. When they've analysed your samples, your DNA data is sent to us at Genomics England. Your hospital then send us detailed information about your condition, your health data, through the secure NHS network. We analyse both together and send a report back to your hospital care team. This could give them an even better understanding of what's wrong, but that isn't the case for everyone. That's because we don't yet know enough about what all the differences in everyone's genomes mean. So it's just the beginning of the story. And that's where three is a magic number. To really understand, we need to know from medical records what happened to you in the past and how things turn out for you in the future. We put them all together. Then we put them in the Genomics England data centre. It's located in a high security facility. That's how important your data is. Having 100,000 genomes and being able to compare the data from 70,000 people gives us superpowers to do the scientific research that's needed. Before we let research scientists look at this data, we remove anything that might directly identify you. Scientists have to tell an independent access review committee exactly how they want to use the data and why. They look at their request very carefully and we check the applicants out. It can only be for health and we only let them look at the research data they need. They have to go through a secure login. They can't copy or download. The data stays right where it is in the data centre at all times. Genomics England monitors and records what they do. The scientists look for patterns and clues in the data. They're not interested in finding out who the data came from. Could they find out who I am if they wanted to? It's not impossible, but we've made it as difficult as we can. And re-identifying someone is illegal. It could lose them their job, they could be fined, and they get a criminal record. What will the scientists do with the data? They'll all work together to understand which differences in the genome are important or cause health problems. These differences could tell your doctors which treatments would work best for you and other people like you in the future. Scientists from industry will use the data to help understand how to use current medicines better or develop new drugs and diagnostic tests. It will take some time but having all this data will help them do it much more quickly. These treatments will be very effective because they'll be precisely tailored to an individual's needs. So, patients will get clearer clinical reports. Doctors will understand why diseases occur and be able to treat them better. Researchers will be able to develop new medicines and treatments. That's why Genomics England is putting all this data together as part of the 100,000 Genomes Project. Your data makes a difference to you and to generations to come.